Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hold up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. I'm already out and about right now. I just got off of work, as you can tell. I'm in my half uniform right now, the thing I have to wear when I'm there. But uh, I'm not 100% sure on what came out today. I'm about to hit all, hit up the regular spots today to see what kind of cool deals there are to be had today. And uh, just to let you guys all know, um, I didn't get, wasn't able to get my phone fixed yet. Um, I went, I went to Best Buy last week because you guys all know my phone was all having problems, glitching and doing all this kind of stuff and I don't know if it's doing it right now or not and if it is I'm sorry but uh, I went into Best Buy last week to talk to them about that and uh, I either gonna have to send my phone in uh, you know to this like Samsung store or something like that and it's gonna take three or four weeks before I get it back so I'll be like shit out of luck when it comes to like camera or phone for that matter or I have to go down into downtown LA like hour hour and a half away uh, you know to the Samsung store to get it fixed and everything and I don't know if I want to do that you know what I mean but I'm at the first location of the day right now as you can tell by the red can anybody tell what store that is and that is BAP Target baby all right, if you want to see what Target has this week, it uh, looks like they have a movie called London Has Fallen. Uh, this one looks like it could be kind of kind of interesting, kind of fun to watch. Anything with Morgan Freeman is uh, is pretty cool, to be honest. And uh, what's the other ones that came out over here? We got Get a Job over here, Eddie the Eagle. We also got a guy over here looking at me like, what the hell are you doing? And uh, we got 10 Cloverfield Lane, which I really liked, but that half slip cover, 90% slip cover thing is kind of sort of weird. I'm, I'm, I can't lie. What's it called? Hell oh, my, my, my name is Doris, actually. This one, I'm not even exactly sure what that is, but My Name is Doris came out today, which is actually a really cool movie I recommend you guys check out. And the, my target over here has this $4 uh, DVD bin right here. I ne I've never seen this before. It's like in between the you know the kids' new releases and the, the main new releases that came out. There's some really cool ones in here, like Pretty in Pink. And man, it feels like a lot of people are watching me right now, like walking around, like looking at me like I'm a douchebag. But I don't really care. I'm doing my shit. A Galaxy Quest in here. We got Warriors. Come out and play. Yay. But you know, it's just some of the ones people are just trying to get rid of over here. Mean Girls too. I remember liking the first Mean Girls, but this one, I don't even know if I even seen it or not. It's just a kind of, you know, as you guys can tell, it's just random stuff. But what is this doing in there? I haven't seen this title in a long time. Harrison Ford flick. But just to let you guys know, um, I did run some updates on my phone, you know, like after this whole, the whole last week glitching problem I was having. And it seems to be being a, being a little bit more, you know, uh, user friendly since I run around those updates even though I've been doing the updates on my phone you know every time I see it pop up and things like that and my, even Fluffy said you might have to get a new like micro SD card you know for, for this phone it, it might fix the problem which I haven't done that yet but everything right now seems to be okay you know what I mean but I'm not really seeing a whole bunch of really anything cool over here at Target all right everyone at a Target right now at my next location of the day a place that I've never been to and it's in my area over here and it's called Comics and Toys. Uh, I don't know how much footage I'm going to be able to get in there, if any at all. But I want to go in there kind of interested in seeing what kind of cool stuff they have. Oh. And they're closed. They're not even open. And they want you to follow them on Facebook. But they're not open, man. It's Tuesday. Oh. Tuesdays? They're closed. Damn it. I guess I'm going to have to try another day for Comics and Toys. Tuesdays are closed. Well, that comics and toys place was a bust, so I'm going over to the Goodwill now. Well, guys, just made it in here now, and whoa, is this a miracle piano? Nope. And man, guys, the trouble with going to thrift stores and trying to hoard up on things when it comes to, like, media and stuff, sometimes you go in these places, and there's already a bunch of hoarders themselves hoarding through the things over there, so I have to wait. See what I'm talking about, guys? People everywhere hurting up on the media, mostly CDs and things. But hopefully I can get in there and squeeze by and, you know, get something cool, hopefully. Is this a bootleg of Black Hat? They're all cut up and stuff? What? Elise? What? Spider-Man? From here over, it's not. The movie is not there. Well, guys, it looks like they changed some stuff up in here. There's, like, a lot of different uh, little things that I didn't see before, like, in previous weeks and things, like Beethoven's, you know, Christmas Adventure, and, like, ra just random stuff, like some TV show seasons of Angel up over here, like, three ninety nine a piece and things like that. I don't know if I'm interested in this, because, like, I remember, uh, I, I mean, I have the complete series of uh, Buffy and stuff, but I don't know if I ever got into watching Angel, but they have, like, the first... Uh, 
four seasons of it over here uh, for three ninety nine a piece, and a couple of other like random TV show seasons of like you know uh, Greek over here. The first two, uh, first two volumes or whatever. I don't know how many volumes there were of this. And guys, they have the C uh, CSI Miami, the complete second season here. But it looks like it's like Japanese or Korean, like writing all over the back of this right here. And it comes in this weird case I've never seen before. You open it up, and the case, the discs are all in these little, like weird kind of sleeve things. That is kind of strange. I'm just because I'm looking for like TV show stuff from my mom, but like, man, this stuff is this is kind of weird. I've never seen a season like that before. Oh man, now I'm still in goodwill right now. I have one thing in my hand. I, I, I'm thinking about getting it, but I don't really know if I really even need it. I, don't even, it's, I feel like if I buy this thing, it's going to be one of those movies or TV show seasons that I have that are just, it's just going to be sitting in my collection for years, collect this, and I'm never going to watch it. But I kind of have the urge to want to get it, but I don't know when the hell I'm ever going to watch it. And that's the 90210, the new series, the first season right here. It's like, what, two nine three ninety nine. <sighs> Do I really need this? All right, everyone, at my last location of the day right now. Boop, the beast. Well, guys, let's see what Best Buy has to offer us this week over here. We got, of course, the Zootopia one from last week. Uh, 10 uh, Cloverfield Lane right here with the, the one with the half slip cover. And it looks like they're sold out of the, the Steelbook over here. I'm glad I got my hands on one already, to be honest. But, like, this movie was really cool. I'm not going to lie. I loved it. And uh, see what else they have over here. Not really seeing anything, like, you know, right next to it over here. But we also have London Has Fallen. They also have uh, Bodyguards and Assassins right here. This is like the new uh, martial art movie from Donnie Yen. Uh, this one was also put out by Shout Factory, also known as, uh, you know, Scream Factory right here. Well, this one actually came out a couple of years ago, and it's only coming out to America now from Shout Factory. Uh, I'm going to be watching this one in a couple of days and talking about it in my next update video. I really, really love Donnie Yen, so I can't wait to get, you know, to start watching that one. We also have Ballers, the complete first season. When I, when I saw that this was coming out, guys, I thought this was like the, the reality show The Rock did about like losing weight or getting people to lose weight or whatever it was. But this, is one's, this one's about like basketball players or sports players. I don't know if I really, or really, really care about this or not. You know what I mean? I like The Rock, but I, I want to see the other show that he did that has to do with weight loss, I think. And uh, we also have, of course, The X-Files, uh, the event right here. Not really a big X-Files guy. And guys, you know that whole Sony display that uh, they have over here at Best Buy that they always, they always have? Uh, it's buy one, get one free right now on uh, the titles that are on this display, that you know, the little like, display end cap sort of thing that they have. is buy one, get one free right now. So I'm going to look through some of these titles and see if there's you know, one or two you know, that I, I would need to add to my collection and things. You know what I mean? There's some, some okay looking stuff in here, but eh, hopefully I find two. You know what I mean? Because like, I would like to get the fifth element, but like, I'm trying to figure out what other one I should get. Well guys, out of the beast right now, so let's head on home for some DVD and Blu-ray reviews. All right, everyone, I'm back home now from hitting the stores and everything. Sad to say, I didn't really pick up anything today. Nothing really interested me. The, like, I said, I, I really wanted to get some of those things I saw, um, you know, at the, the Goodwill, and I wanted to get that fifth element, but, like, the fifth element on the back of the cover, it said remastered in 4K. So that means there could be a 4K Blu-ray, you know, a 4K release of that film sooner or later. So I'm going to have to hold off and wait on that one. They might as well get it on 4K whenever that comes out, if you know what I'm trying to say. But I do have a couple of uh, DVDs and Blu-rays here I want to talk to you guys about today uh, for this video. And uh, the first two up here are my very first two 4K movies in my collection right here. And uh, yeah, I, got, I got them a couple days ago, and I got a chance to watch them over at my uh, brother-in-law's house because their family has this big old TV with you know 4K and everything that they just got. So I, I you know I went on I went on over there because Ethan just had his second birthday uh, recently. So we all were all over there just partying down and things. And uh, we, I pop you know I popped these ones in. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really watch one of them all the way through, but then I watched uh, the second one all the way through, and it looks amazing on 4K. And that uh, that is uh, Star Trek uh, here, the 4K Blu-ray. Uh, Digital copy combo pack and Star Trek Into Darkness. Uh, Paramount has just released these ones um, on 4K. Um, I, I, I really liked watching these films on, on Blu-ray when they first came out uh, a couple years ago. But man, watching these ones in 4K is just 
they, they're just like so much superior than Blu-ray right now. It just kind of blew my mind because I'm not going to lie, these are like the very first 4K movies I ever really watched. You know what I mean? Like this one, that's popping to take a look at, but this one, oh my God, it looks amazing on 4K, man. That whole uh, DNR, or not DNR, it's called uh, HDR, uh, high, dyna high dynamic range. And you get like really, really deep blacks and just really rich color palette, you know, w when it comes to these, uh, the picture quality on these. And I was just really pleasantly surprised by it. And by watching these movies, you know, at, you know, at my brother-in-law's family's house, this really makes me want to like get a 4K television and everything for my room. You know what I mean? Because like I know I can always watch them at, at the family house and everything, but like it just makes me really want to you know get a you know a 4K TV and stuff. But like uh, the special features um, on these discs are pretty much the same ones you got on the the Blu-ray released uh, version of the film. You know that came out years ago. But like man, these look these just look so amazing. The sound to me, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really hear big differences or anything like that. But these look just absolutely amazing, and Paramount did a very good job, you know, releasing these films right here. But uh, next up over here uh, from Wellgo USA is a movie I was kind of sort of pleasantly surprised by and that is called uh, Kill Your Friends uh, here on Blu-ray. It came out a few weeks ago and uh, it's pretty much about this, this, this talent scout and uh, back in like 1997 during the British pop scene or whatever and uh, he, he's a talent scout that will do anything in his power to be the best you know the best talent scout to sign the best artist to do what he can to be the man and uh, what, what he could do is possibly kill his friends to get on top of that talent scout roster, you know, at his company that, that he's in, that he's in, and he's like, his company's going through, like, you know, weird changes and different things are happening, and it's just him trying to do what he can to stay on top, and, uh, I kind of dug this one a little bit, you know what I mean, like, I, I, I kind of, for a while when I was watching, I was having a hard time understanding their, um, when they were speaking and things, but, like, I really got into it, and it says it kind of, it says it, you know, American Psycho, it kind of sort of resembles that a little bit with the main character always, like, you know, looking into the camera, you know, kind of like how Ferris Bueller did in uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off and like talking to the camera and things it kind of sort of has that vibe to it which is, which is cool to me but if it, sound, if it sounds interesting to you definitely check it out it looks beautiful on Blu-ray and the special features are interviews with the cast and crew and the, you get a trailer on here but if you guys like American Psycho like I said it has that vibe but it's not as cool as American Psycho if you know what I'm trying to say and uh, next up over here from Anchor Bay is a film starring uh, Nicholas uh, no, called Nicole Kidman Jason Bateman and Christopher Walken and that is The Family Fang uh, here on DVD. Uh, this one is about a, a family of performance artists uh, in, in this film. Like uh, Christopher Walken is a, plays the father of um, you know, Nicole Kidman and Jason Bateman. And uh, when they're kids, they're, they grow up to be performance artists. Like going on the street and it's like, you know, causing a ruckus. Like, you know what I mean? Like, um, like going on the street and like singing really weird songs in, in front of people for money. And then the, like, the parents will come in and say, hey, your song sucks. You suck, little kids. You suck. In front of like you know all these people and these people are going hey hey calm down they're just kids they're just kids but yet you know they're, they're videotaping all of this as performance art you know but they they get you know, bigger scams and different things but now it's years later Nicole Kidman is now a, a semi popular actress and uh, you know Jason Bateman just got in a big accident he got he got hit in the head with a potato or whatever it was and he's in the hospital and now they're both to go visit their parents now that they haven't seen in years. And uh, as soon as they visit their parents, uh, they soon disappear. And, you know, the cops are saying, hey, some, the, their car was found with blood, you know, near their car. And something really may, may have happened to your parents. And they're like, no, my parents, they're just, putting, they're just putting this on, you know, for their performance art and things. And this is them trying to figure out, did their parents, are their parents trying to pull another, you know, performance art piece? Or did they really get kidnapped or hurt? Or are they hurt somewhere? And this is them trying to figure out what's going on. Um, I found this one to be okay. Not really super amazing or anything like that. Christopher Walken's good. Uh, Nicole Kidman. The cast is good. The cast is great. But I just really... I don't know. The whole flow of the movie just didn't really work for me. Like, I didn't think it was just, you know, that... I don't know. Some, something about it just felt kind of cheap. You know what I mean? Like, it, it was well acted and everything, but just some, there's something about it I, it just didn't really click with me. But I did like the pieces when they cut to the family, like, doing the performance pieces when they were younger, like, doing the weird, stupid things on the street and stuff like that. I thought it was cool. But just after a while, it, this movie just got, got kind of tired, if you know what I'm trying to say. But uh, last up on here from uh, Mill Creek is something I'm really happy to get. It's a sci-fi kind of sh I think it's a sci-fi show. I think that's what you can call it. It's a show that I remember getting on DVD and watching on, like, re reruns on television with my mom. 
and that is our Quantum Leap, the complete first and second season, the double combo pack here from Mill Creek. And uh, this is just one of those like really fun shows, like about you know time travel and and how like uh, it's, it also stars what's, what's the name again, Scott Bakula and Dean Stockwell over here. Like uh, Scott Bakula is like a scientist that you know can travel, uh, you know, back in time and things, but yet. In the beginning of this show, when he travels in time, when he travels back in time, he can't get back to present time. So he has to keep traveling, you know, through time to try to figure out how he's going to get back, you know, to, to present day. And you know, of course, each little epi- each episode is his own little like saga of, of, of what body he's transforming his, what you know, because when he when he when he, tra- when he transports back to the future, you know, to the past, he transports into somebody else's body. You know what I mean? Like 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 a black man. Or like, you know, like Martin Luther King or, like, you know, like whatever. And he gets to be able to change different events that happened in history. It's really, it's really kind of a fun show. And I'm not going to lie, I don't think I've ever seen the very last episode. So I don't really ever know what happened to Sam, you know, to uh, Scott Bakula in the show. You know what I mean? So I hope Mill Creek keeps on releasing uh, Quantum Leap here on DVD so I can actually find find out what happened at the end of the series, you know? But uh, I like how Mill Creek released this set right here. Instead of, like, you know, you get them in, like, the flipper case, the, the little flipper trays right here. So that, that that's kind of cool. Instead of having, like, those weird paper sleeves, you know, inside the case. But, guys, that's all I have to talk to you guys about today uh, for this hoarding up video today. Finally got my very first 4K, you know, movies in my collection collection really really cool stuff but if you guys like my videos give them a thumbs up if you guys support them and i'll see you hoarders all next time hey guys wet movie one back here again and it's time to go hoard up are you guys ready i know i sure am i'm already out and about right now i just got off of work as you can tell i'm in my half uniform right now this thing i have to wear when i'm there but uh, I'm not 100% sure on what came out today. I'm about to hit, all, hit up the regular spots today to see what kind of cool deals there are to be had today. And uh, just to let you guys all know, um, I didn't get, wasn't able to get my phone fixed yet. Um, I went, I went to Best Buy last week because you guys all know my phone was all having problems, glitching, and doing all this kind of stuff. And I don't know if it's doing it right now or not. And if it is, I'm sorry. But uh, I went into Best Buy last week to talk to them about that. And uh, I either going to have to send my phone in uh you know to this like samsung store or something like that and it's gonna take three or four weeks before i get it back so i'll be like shit out of luck when it comes to like camera or phone for that matter or i have to go down into downtown la like an hour hour and a half away uh you know to the samsung store to get it fixed and everything and i don't know if i want to do that you know what i mean but i'm at the first location of the day right now as you can tell by the red can anybody tell what store that is and that is bat target baby all right, if you want to see what Target has this week, it uh, looks like they have a movie called London Has Fallen. Uh, this one looks like it could be kind of, kind of interesting, kind of fun to watch. Anything with Morgan Freeman is, uh, is pretty cool to be honest. And uh, what's the other ones that came out over here? We got Get a Job over here, Eddie the Eagle. We also got a guy over here looking at me like, "What the hell are you doing?" And uh, we got Ten Cloverfield Lane, which I really liked, but that half slip cover, 90% slip cover thing is kind of sort of weird. I'm, I'm, I can't lie. What's it called? Hell, oh, my, my, my name is Doris actually. This one, I'm not even exactly sure what that is, but My Name is Doris came out today, which is actually a really cool movie I recommend you guys check out. And the, my target over here has this $4 uh, DVD bin right here. I ne- I've never seen this before. It's like in between the you know the kids' new releases and the, the main new releases that came out. There's some really cool ones in here, like Pretty in Pink. And, man, it feels like a lot of people are watching me right now, like walking around, like looking at me like I'm a douchebag. But I don't really care. I'm doing my shit. The Galaxy Quest in here. We got Warriors. Come out and play. Yay. But, you know, it's just some of the ones people are just trying to get rid of over here. Mean Girls 2. I remember liking the first Mean Girls, but this one, I don't even know if i even seen it or not. It's just a kind of, you know, as you guys can tell, it's just random stuff. But what is this doing in there? I haven't seen this title in a long time. Harrison Ford flick. But just to let you guys know, um, I did run some updates on my phone, you know, like after this whole, the whole last week glitching problem I was having. And it seems to be being a, being a little bit more, you know, uh user friendly since I run ran those updates even though I've been doing the updates on my phone you know every time I see it pop up and things like that and my, even Fluffy said you might have to get a new like micro SD card you know for, for this phone it, it might fix the problem which I haven't done that yet but everything right sometimes you go in these places and there's already a bunch of hoarders themselves hoarding through the things over there so I have to wait see what I'm talking about guys people everywhere 
parting up on the media, mostly CDs and things. But hopefully I can get in there and squeeze by and, you know, get something cool, hopefully. Is this a bootleg of Black Hat? Are they all cut up and stuff? What? Elise? What? Spider-Man? From here over, it's not. The movie is not there. Well, guys, it looks like they changed some stuff up in here. There's like a lot of different uh, little things that I didn't see before, like in previous weeks and things like Beethoven's, you know, Christmas Adventure and like ra this random stuff, like some TV show seasons of Angel up over here, like $3.99 a piece and things like that. I don't know if I'm interested in this because like I remember, uh, I, I mean, I have the complete series of uh, Buffy and stuff, but I don't know if I ever got into watching Angel, but they have like the first... Uh, Four seasons of it over here uh, for $3.99 a piece and a couple of other like random TV show seasons. Now seems to be okay, you know what I mean? But I'm not really seeing a whole bunch of really anything cool over here at Target. Alright everyone, at a Target right now, at my next location of the day, a place that I've never been to and it's in my area over here and it's called Comics and Toys. Uh, I don't know how much footage I'm going to be able to get in there, if any at all, but I want to go in there kind of interested in seeing what kind of cool stuff they have. Oh, and they're closed. They're not even open. And they want you to follow them on Facebook, but they're not open, man. It's Tuesday. Oh, Tuesdays, they're closed. Damn it. I guess I'm going to have to try another day for comics and toys. Tuesdays, they're closed. Well, that comics and toys place was a bust, so I'm going over to the Goodwill now. Well, guys, just made it in here now, and whoa, is this a miracle piano? Nope. And man, guys, the trouble with going to thrift stores and trying to hoard up on things when it comes to like media and stuff, 